Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my another brand new after effects tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create this. This video is sponsored by ProductionCrate.com. Here you will find awesome VFX, motion graphics elements, music, sound effects, After Effects tutorials and much more. Here you can create a free account. In free account you can download 5 assets per day and you can create pro account to access the full library. No download limits in just $39 per year. In this tutorial I am using some elements from this website. Click the link in the description box below for more information. Also you can download this full project file and you can customize it. Download link in the description box below. Can I get 500 likes for this? If yes please hit the like button. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition. And let's call it cinematic tailor. And I'm going with 1920 by 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 6 seconds then click on OK. Ok now we are created text so right click new and click on text. And I am using code bold font. Then type your text here. Now make it center. then right click on this layer and then click on layer style and then choose gradient overlay and then click on gradient overlay then click on edit gradient then edit the gradient something like this Then click on OK. One thing to remember your text must be in center, otherwise, the tracking amount option is not working. So, make your text in center. OK, now click on this arrow icon to open text properties, then click on animate and choose tracking then set a keyframe on tracking amount in this beginning of this animation and tracking amount set it minus 12 then go to end of this animation and increase the tracking amount something like this perfect Again I told you make sure your text is center. Ok now select the text layer and press U to open keyframes. Then select the last keyframe and right click and choose keyframe assistant and then click on easy is in. Ok now we are create effect 3D effect. For this select the text layer and press ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer and put it down. Then press S to open scale and click on this chain icon and X amount set it 97. Then open text properties. Then click on layer style and then click on gradient overlay and click on edit gradient and edit gradient something like this.
then click on ok now you can see a nice fake 3d effect ok now we are create our second text for this select the first text layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer and double click on this layer and type your text here now select this text layer and put it above and make it smaller something like this perfect now select this text layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer and put it down and press h to open scale and click on this chain icon and x amount set it 99 okay now open the properties of this layer and select layer style and press ctrl plus c to copy the layer style then select this layer and press ctrl plus v to paste the layer style onto this layer perfect Ok now make all the layer 3D and turn on motion blur also click on this big motion blur icon Ok now import our project files I am download these files from productioncreate.com you can also download it from link in the description box below so please check this out Ok now select the BG layer and place this in your timeline then right click on this layer and then choose transform and click flip vertical then press T to open opacity and opacity set to 30 percent then select the layer and go to effect color correction and choose curves then change the RGB curves something like this Ok now go to project window and select lens player and place this in your timeline and change the layer mode to add perfect then select the particle layer and place this in your timeline and put it below the lens player layer also change the layer mode to add Ok now make the particle layer 3D Ok now select the spark layer and place this in your timeline and put it below the particle layer Ok now we are create a camera so right click new and click on camera and make it 35 mm preset then click on ok now create a null object so right click new and click on null object and make this layer 3d and select the camera and parent it to null 1 then select the null 1 and press p to open position then go to beginning of this animation and decrease the z amount very high something like this then set a keyframe on position then go to around 8 frame and increase the z amount something like this then go to end of this animation 
and increase the Z amount little bit perfect then right click on second keyframe then keyframe assistant then click on easy is in okay now select the lens flare layer and press up arrow key to adjust the position perfect okay now we are create a black solid layer so right click new and click on solid and rename it to masked and make it black then click on ok now select this max layer and then go to toolbar and select the rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and hold down alt control and drag then change the max mode to subtract perfect now we are create adjustment layer so right click new and click on adjustment layer then select the layer and put it down then select the layer and then go to effect color correction and choose curves then change the RGB curves something like this Okay, then go to effect bar and sharpen then choose sharpen and sharpen amount set it 50 again go to effect then noise and gain and select noise and amount of noise set it 15% perfect press 0 to ramp preview this that's how i made the whole project you can download full project file from link in the description box below and you can customize it yourself thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a nice day